let's take a look at how to work with an Export Hub Live Session. In order to work with this tool, you need to open the Tag Live Video Environment in Naxport. Keep in mind that you'll need an internet connection and, of course, a Hub account in order to open a live session. So, click on the Hub icon and log in with your username and password. Next, choose a name for the live session. By default, this will be the same as the one you chose for your analysis in Naxport. You must also set the refresh rate. This dictates how often Hub will update the information on the site. Click Continue. Now, select which users you want to invite to view the live session. Only those users you have selected will be able to see the data that you send. As soon as the session has been created, you can access Hub and see the video clips and data you send. Now that you've added some tags to the game, let's look at how to send clips to Hub. To do this, select the clips you want to send and then click the Upload icon. The upload will begin and the clips will soon be available to view on Hub. Multiple clips can be uploaded at the same time. Select those that you want to upload and click the upload icon. It's also possible to set your clips to upload automatically. To do this, open the Settings menu in the control window and select Upload Exported Clips to Naxport Hub Live. Now, you can edit one category and one descriptor button on your tagging window to activate the Export Clips behavior. Whenever you tag an action and add this descriptor, the clip will be uploaded to Hub automatically. If you assign this behavior to a category, simply clicking the button will start the upload. Hub Live has been designed to improve team communication and allow you to interact with each other during the game. Because of this, several people can be adding data at the same time. All administrators who have been invited to the session will be able to connect and add to the analysis. So, if we log into a session that has already been created by another administrator, we can join the session and start to add the data that we want. If you have two independent live video capture processes happening at the same time, you can even have two different videos for the session. Okay, let's look at how all of this is displayed in Hub. When you log into your account, a pop-up will appear saying that there is a live session open and asking if you want to join. You can join directly or join later using the live icon at the top of the screen. When you join, you can review all the clips by simply clicking on the one that interests you. Please note, the lists of clips is automatically updated as new clips are uploaded. You can see how much time is left until the next refresh here. Alternatively, disable automatic updates and do it manually. You can favourite clips in a live session. For example, we think that these two shots need to be reviewed more carefully later, so we mark them as favourites. And then, from the filter at the top, 
we can view our favourites or the favourites of any other user who shared the session. Also, from the top menu, we can filter the uploaded clips to see those uploaded by each analyst separately. Finally, you have the option to filter by category and see each clip by type of action. In this section on the left, you can see all the descriptors that have been added to a specific clip, as well as any notes that have been included. When using Hub Live, you can also share a dashboard to the session. To do this, open a dashboard and click on the icon for uploading dashboards. By doing this, the dashboard will be available for anyone in the session to view. This works even when the dashboard is minimised, so that you don't take up too much screen space. On the website, the dashboard will always be available under a category called Dashboard, allowing you to add a filter and view it quickly. If you want to share a constantly updated version of your dashboard without having to send it manually, you can go to Configuration from the main menu, select Capture, and set the option to upload the open dashboard every X minutes, depending on your needs. Now, a new dashboard image will be uploaded to Hub after this period of time. Keep in mind that any changes you make to your clips in Naxport will not be reflected on Hub Live. This means that for example, if you add or delete descriptors, you need to re-upload the clip to Hub in order to see it reflected there. On the other hand, deleting the clip entirely from Naxport will be reflected in Hub, and it will soon disappear from the platform. Once you finish working on the game, it's time to close the Hub Live session. To do this from Naxport, click the Hub icon again and select End Live Session. Invited users cannot end a session, only leave it. Only the user who created the session can end it. A session can also be ended directly from Hub. Whether the session has been ended from Naxport or Hub, once ended, a presentation will be created in Hub with all the clips that have been sent during the session. In the presentation, there will be a separate list for each administrator that has uploaded clips during the session. You can also see all the clips in each list. As clips are now part of a presentation, you can now send them to a new presentation, share them to the team channel, or do whatever you need to do with them. You can access the presentation at any time from the main menu of Hub. or directly from the presentation section.